Come on in the kitchen, friends. Come on in. <laughs> you know, I have, I'm going to share a recipe with y'all today for uh, chicken fettuccine salad. So you do, you eat it cold. And I had this years ago, and I had been invited up to the governor's mansion for some kind of luncheon. And I can't remember what it was about. I wish I kept a journal, um, but I didn't. So they served something like this at that luncheon. So I came home and I very quickly, while it was fresh on my mind, I just made my version of what I think that they did. But it was really very good. You know, I, you wouldn't think of uh, cold pasta as being good, but you know, pasta salad, that's good too, cold. So I'm gonna start out. I've got my water boiling back here and uh, it calls for fresh fettuccine, so I'm using this kind that takes like two minutes. All it really has to do is just heat up, y'all. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to put my chicken, and I tell everybody, I don't use the dark meat on this, I use just white meat. So I tell everybody to take their breast and just put them, cut them into like one inch strips, or you can do it in chunks, however you want to do it, because this is gonna go on top of your uh, pasta. So here we go. Just gonna open that up a little bit. And this'll need to cook maybe, I don't wanna overcook it. Sure don't wanna overcook it. So you'll wanna cut your strips all pretty much the same size, you know, so they'll all get done at the same time. So these will probably need to cook for maybe 15 minutes, you know, and you wanna make sure your oven is at temp when you put your chicken in. So we'll just keep a close eye on this. And this is so good. And the great thing about this is you can make it ahead of time, which I, I like that. And this is also nice. Well, it was served at luncheon. And uh, so this is a nice ladies luncheon meal. If you're having the girls over for a card game or just for tea and fellowship, this would be a perfect dish to feed them. All right, so I'm gonna salt my chicken a little bit. Just a little bit, I don't want to get it too salty. And a little pepper. I missed one. All right, now I'm gonna take this, I've got olive oil spray, and I'm just gonna spray them with a little olive oil. So in the oven this goes, y'all. Okay, so that's in the oven. I'm gonna set our timer. And I'm so proud of my new timer, y'all. Eddie picked this up from the Paula Dean store. When he went downtown, he needs a magnet so I can just stick it down my skillet. I love it. So our water is boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and put our pasta in and it literally takes two minutes. I forgot to put my time on my chicken before I put it in the oven. <laughs> so I'm just going back and put my time on it, giving it a little time, time, time. And uh, then I'm just gonna stick it back in the oven. That time is gonna give it such a good, good flavor. Can't believe I forgot it. Okay, y'all, I boiled this maybe for about three minutes, wouldn't you say, Eddie? 
This is gonna make a ton. So I hope y'all are hungry. So because we're turning this into a salad, I'm gonna rinse our pasta. So it won't clump up. And then we're gonna let it drain again. All right. So we're waiting on our chicken to cook. But in the meantime, we're gonna put together our dressing. It's gonna go on this. So I'm gonna start with two cups of mayonnaise. And this sauce was so good with all the, the fresh herbs in it. Like I said, I can't remember exactly because it's been so many years ago. I just knew that I enjoyed it. All right, I've got my parsley. Mmm, got my basil. Got my green onions. And I've got my house seasoning. And like I said, I hope that there is some good chicken juice that I can add to that dressing. probably shouldn't have cooked that much pasta, y'all. So you would do it according to how many people you're, have, you're trying to feed. I mean, this would feed a lot, especially if it was a luncheon where you don't eat quite as heavy. All right, let's see. We've got about four more minutes on our chicken. Whoa! Delicious. So four more minutes and they'll be ready. And you know, I think I think I'm gonna switch this to brawl. So our chicken can brown a little bit. waiting on my oven to get hot. Ooh, look at the juices from that chicken. Now, I'm not going to pour. I'm not going to pour all of that on. Just a little bit. But this is going to give it a great flavor, y'all. All right, now I'm going to move my chicken closer together and I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little paprika. So that'll help brown it, make it pretty. Uh-oh, excuse, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, that's paprika. I'm always so afraid that I'm gonna grab, grab a red pepper <laughs> and put it on thinking it was parsley. So this will give our chicken just a pretty bit of a color. Okay, so I switched our oven over to brawl just for the last couple of minutes. And this time, I'm not gonna shut that oven door all the way like I have done in the past. And it's important, you don't want to overcook it. So I may put a little bit more juice. Because like I said, that's what's going to season our dressing. It's the juices from our chicken. We don't want to put so much though that it's, that it's too thin. All right, now I'm gonna get another bowl. Well, actually I can use this pot right here. 
because I don't want to dress all this pasta because it's really like too much. So I'm going to do maybe just enough for Teresa and Eddie's dinner tonight. And Keith. <laughs> so Keith is off, Teresa. No, he's working. He gets off tonight oh, at 7. He goes back oh, in tomorrow morning. That'll be perfect. Exactly. That will be perfect. Okay. I'm gonna dress our pasta. And the sauce you would, uh, you know, it depends on how many you're cooking for. You can easily double that recipe or easy half that recipe. Just add however much sauce you want. Some people like it heavy, some people like it light. Y'all know me, I'm a condiment girl. Me too. So I like mine kind of heavy. This is some of the longest pasta I've ever seen. <laughs> So I'm gonna just serve up a small plate <laughs> of this. like shrimp sitting in there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, and you could do it with shrimp too, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. You just would get the sauce and you would get the, oh. you get the juices. Oh, yeah, you'd have juice out of your, out of your shrimp. Now, the longer that, that uh, sauce sits on the pasta, the drier it's gonna get. So you might need to keep adding your, your dressing to your pasta. All right, so there you go, Teresa. Yum. Eat up, girl. Let me get you a fork. And you tell me what you think, okay? I certainly will. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is kind of... No, just twirl your fork around uh, your you're pasta. You're trying to get me to do the whole Italian. Yeah, yeah, okay. just twirl your... There you go. Oh, Don't this. lose your vegetable. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be looking at the camera because mm -hmm. we want to know how you like it. <laughs> good. It's very good. I just love it. It's got a lot of um, lot of flavors. It's very, it's very, very good. fragrant smelling. Uh-huh. Yes. Okie doke. Well, I hope y'all will try this because it really, really is tasty. And I appreciate, I appreciate the state of Georgia having me up to the capital. And um, you know it was a good meal if 10 years later I'm still talking about it. <laughs> so love and best dishes, y'all, from the great state of Georgia. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.